Hey bestie, I'm Kenya and welcome to my channel. I'm so grateful and super thankful that you're joining in to play with me today. So in this video, you guys, I will be sharing some new items from Planet Thing. Thank you so much, Amber, for sending these goodies over to me. And I'll be using them, you guys, for my creative journal. So if you want to see how my spread comes together and to see what's in this package, you already know. Stay tuned. Okay, Bestie, so we're going to jump into these goodies. But first off, I want to say thank you so much to Ember for being so sweet to me and sending these items over. I'm super excited about them because you showed me some sneak peeks, so I cannot wait to share. So let's get into this package. And so you guys, she came out with three new sticker books, y'all three of them and i'm super excited for one because one of them is a beach theme so we're going to jump into that one first it is the floral beach theme and well sticker book and y'all these are some clear stickers and we're just going to flip through them really quick but y'all see these do y'all see these beachy florals like summer florals is what it's giving me and like all of like the beach stuff that was on that first page and what I like about her books is that you do get two pages of each page so that's really really nice especially when you get to these boxes because you know for me I'm a planner that likes balance in my spreads so this this just works perfectly and y'all look at the beach and the water like all the little water detailing oh, so pretty and y'all, she even got like this floral, like design, like art design. So yeah, I really thought the seahorse is so cute. Okay. You got a little mermaid and then you do have like these decorative boxes as well in the sticker book. And then y'all look at these. These are like giving me like a beach floral wedding vibe. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's like a, um, a drape, it's like it's draping over. So pretty. We got some corner pieces and some more floral, like corner pieces and in, in like a different layout and then y'all when i saw this page i was like yes i like the script and like the front of these so nice and then of course she put us some boxes some plain boxes in here in like a beach color palette and then we got circles and hexagons you guys so i just feel like she did a really good job with the beach theme we got florals and it, it mixed in with the beach okay so next we got some seasonal fun okay so this is a seasonal sticker book and off top it starts out with fall and y'all that's gonna make for a beautiful scene we got some pumpkins and some leaves and then you got halloween stickers as well I was like, they got little cupcakes and sweets and stuff. And then you got some boxes and circles in the fall color palette. And then we get to winter, you guys, the polar bear and like the animals. I was like, oh, that's going to make for a beautiful, like, I don't know when I, when it comes to like seasonal stuff, I love creating scenes with them in my planner. So this is going to be nice. And then we get some Christmas decor. And then we get the boxes, like the more functional stickers, in the winter color palette, which is that blue, red, and navy. And then you guys, look at these spring butterflies, okay? They are really, really, really pretty. So pretty. And y'all, I fell in love with this page because, oh my goodness, all of the little animals, they're so cute. They're so cute and would be so perfect for just a cute little animal spread. And then we get some Easter eggs and baskets. And then we get an Easter, I say Easter, y'all, spring color palette. And then we get to my favorite season of them all, which is summer. And we got some palm trees and like a boardwalk. It's really, really cute. And then you look, you got the summer icons and stuff. I like to take these icons and border my page with them. So those would be fun. And then we got a summer color palette, which is like a pink, a blue, and like a sandy color. And then y'all, I was super excited that she came out with this because this is a functional boxes book. And it starts out with a black color palette with boxes and circles. And you got some grays in there. So it goes from a darker color to a lighter tone of the, here's a purple shade and we got a pink shade. So I thought that was super, super, super nice. And then we got yellow, you guys. I mean, come on. We cannot, like, we cannot not get this because of the yellow. <laughs> and then we get green. 
as well. And then we get this blue color palette. And like I said, she did give us double pages of everything. So I thought that was really nice. Now it switches, you guys. We get some hexagons and triangles. And we don't see a lot of triangles, like in a lot of sticker books so i thought this was really really nice and would make for a different contrast in our spreads so y'all this is like i'm re i'm really happy about the yellow and the purple so i'm gonna be using those sometime soon okay then we get the blue and then i thought this was nice that she included some larger boxes in those colors as well and so yeah super 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 cute I'm so happy that she came out with this. And you guys, look at the pastels in the back. Some long boxes. So I was like, yes, that's a really, really nice sticker book. Okay, so we're going to jump into my plan with me, you guys. I thought, well, you know what? Let me use some of this. And what I was kind of thinking was kind of like a black and white spread um, to do and just pop some florals. And that's what I want for this week. And so I thought these books would be perfect. And especially with this brighter, like, beach i guess it's like the beach floral it's out of the beach floral sticker book i thought those would look really good and i did bring in a little bit of this green so i pulled a larger black box and then i pulled some hexagons so because i thought they would look really nice on the spread so i'm just trying to i don't have really a rhyme or reason you guys i'm just laying this out because i use my creative journal to just write in my thoughts things that made me happy things that made me sad um I get really real in my journal, which is why I really don't show the after the pen a lot of the times because I get down and I like <laughs> I like put it all in there. So but I do like to like decorate it because um, especially with using quotes and stuff, because it does keep me motivated and encouraged. And I also find that it's another way to just express myself creatively. So my journal is like a it's a triple threat. Well, threat probably isn't the right word, but it's a it's a triple like bonus. You know, I get my feelings out. I get to do a little bit of memory planning as well. And I get to be creative also. And I get to encourage myself. So I really like it. Okay, so I did put down a larger green box at the top. I just tried to like balance this out, even though I do feel like the left side is a little bit unbalanced. I don't know and I think y'all I'm gonna be honest this is something that throws me off like every time with a vertical spread I always feel like my left is not as balanced as my right and it's just because the days <laughs> you know there's an extra day on the right side versus we have like the sidebar on the left side and because I don't know it just the way my eye looks okay so what I did do is pull out some black and white washi which is kind of the inspiration behind the spread I really wanted to use it and then I just decided to do a little bit of layering and so I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it all together and so hopefully I can kind of like make it balanced at this point so I'm trying to find I'm flipping through trying to find some of these little smaller hexagons to see maybe if I need to put a smaller one in there but I decided against that. And I really want to like layer in these florals. I hadn't done something like this in a while where I just focused mainly on florals and boxes and like maybe some quotes. Because I did pull one quote for this so far. But I don't know. I was trying to see what else like other like layers I could add in, which is why I added those little hexagons. Well, that one little hexagon, I pulled a little smaller one trying to see if I just layered it and not and not stack it. But I don't know. I wasn't feeling that either. And like I said, I didn't have a rhyme or reason. I just knew I wanted it to kind of come together. Comment below, you guys. Like, do you do you decorate your journal? Like, let me know if you actually do this, because I would love to hear like how you use it. Do you put stickers in your journal? Do you even have a journal? Like share with me below like your thoughts on this whole like creative journal community. And I love using my happy planner for this because I mean, I feel like it, it gives me enough room to do all of the things. But I also feel like you could just use filler paper, you guys, to make a journal just to in, like do a journal entry. And I've even thought about doing that, like, you know, on the days that I want to journal. But what this spread does is it forces me to kind of journal pretty much every day. Now, there are days where I will just do, 
I guess you could say I would like skip a day sometimes and I'll just write in those spaces or I just keep going <laughs> as if it's like a one week spread and not necessarily like a daily spread or a daily journaling entry. So I like doing that. I also like to like celebrate myself in my journal too, like to track my progress, especially like something that's really big for me right now, you guys, because I have been on the show. What I feel like the struggle bus when it comes to like getting my full blown workout in like a workout that I would like to do, like just in these past few months, been so busy, but I'm trying to not make that an excuse for life. But when I do get up and go and be able to work out, I like to celebrate that and just like make it a big deal personally for myself because it's like, you know, I want to take care of me. And that's what this whole journal is about is taking care of me, taking care of my mental taking care of my physical, my emotional, and just like how I want to respond to things, how I want to, you know, just elevate myself in general. Um, goals that I have, like things I'm working on. When I get good news, you know, I want to be able to like go back and look at that because oftentimes we focus on a lot of the bad things in life. And we're not, we're not focusing on some of the good things that are happening to us. Sometimes they get overshadowed is what I mean. And I don't want that to be what, you know, I focus on. Because I do believe that what you focus on grows, you guys. So I just want this, my journal to reflect that. So that's why I like to use stickers and make it all happy and stuff. And make it a thing that I do every week outside of my regular plans, you know. So, yeah, let me know, you guys. I know I'm chatting, y'all, and I haven't told y'all what I'm doing. But y'all can kind of see. I'm just layering in my florals. And I added another box at the top, little cluster. And now I'm, I'm just really trying to see where I can fit things in, y'all. And I'm really leaning in on this wax paper. <laughs> like, me and this wax paper, we are best friends for this spread. Most of the time, I just put my stickers on the wax paper and use it, you know, sparingly if I need to. So, y'all, I did go and pull the um, blush, bold and blush um, sticker book. And I thought these quotes would be really, really, really cute. Really cute. So, because they are super bold, like that super bold black and that font is really nice. I did pull that first quote. It was from a old, like way back before they did. Well, it was a, it was called Mumby Sticks back then. We just didn't reference them a lot because we had sticker books, you know. But this was from an old Mumby Stick that I had like from back in the day. But I decided not to use it because I just felt like it would be alone. And I thought that the spread could use a bunch of quotes. Because I don't really have like a lot of things going on on it outside of a few flowers and boxes at this point. So I thought that I could do this. So I'm just trying to find ways and well areas to actually put the the quotes for each little cluster. And I think this will be nice. And just all I need for this spread, it'd be simple. And then to still leave me a ton of like writing space. So yeah, that's all I'm doing y'all. And what I've noticed about myself is when I'm doing floral spreads... I use wax paper more than when I'm using when I'm just doing a regular spread that does not necessarily have like a lot of florals in them. I use a ton of wax paper for the florals though. I don't know what it is. Like why I do that. Um let me know below if you guys are wax paper lovers or do you use like the um sticker guides? Like what do you do? Or do you just go with go with the flow? just from out, straight out of the sticker book do you just lay your stickers down comment below let me know what's your style i kind of i'm a mix i would say i'm a mix it just depends on how i'm feeling for the day and where i'm at <laughs> okay so i'm gonna add this little box at the bottom i'm just trying to make them all different y'all i really like the one that says be happy i like how i layered it over the floral so this one i'm just trying to fit like in the little crevices i thought it would look good right there um i'm not really sure how i feel about this one so i'm gonna pull it up and i believe i feel like it's just kind of separated you know so i just decided to cut it cut it down and this way i can lay it differently so i'm gonna cut the little end sign or symbol cut it down some too and that way, it'll look a little bit better. I feel like if I just kind of lay it myself versus how it's stacked, you know. And so, if 
first I was going to try to cat a corner, but I just think straight across. And that'll make it a little bit different from all of the others. Okay, so now that I got that, that's making me feel a little bit better. So now I feel like something needs to happen with the sidebar. So I decided to use this. Now, I do like to create like a gratitude list or things that made me happy list or just some type of journaling prompt for the week you guys so i'll typically like write in in these boxes what i'm like tracking and stuff like that also like my wins for the week you know um i even like to notate sometimes like things that didn't make me so happy but like a positive way to look at it you know like a positive thing whether it be something that i learned from the experience or whatever um but some journaling prompts and usually what i'll do if i'm if i need like a journaling prompt for the week or for the day um i'll go to pinterest you guys i have a ton of them peeking like different journaling ideas and stuff like that i got a lot of those pinned so and you can always do like a journaling challenge as well for these type of spreads i think that would be really really dope as well so yeah now that I have those and I just layered them with some some washi. I'm not sure if I need flowers on them yet. I wanted to make sure I put enough flowers on the spread first. Because I feel like I haven't used a lot. Like literally I have what five flowers. So now this makes six. And I don't like how I have that one laid. Let me pick that up. Just feel like it needs to be put down differently. So I'm going to try to put a couple of more. Okay that looks better. Okay, and I did pull like some in different colors, like more of this reddish orange color and then some bright pinks. But I did have that lighter pink, but I just felt like I wanted this one to be bold. So I'm just going to kind of leave that one off. So now I'm trying to see, okay, I added that one in the middle and it's very similar to the smaller one. So I don't know, I wasn't feeling that. So like, let me put that up, like maybe just cut this one down some. So that stem is not just like hanging by itself. I feel like that looked a little weird. Also, just kind of how I had it placed. So maybe that looks a little bit better. I can live with it. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> All right. So now I'm trying to see what can I put over here on the side. It's kind of plain. So. And I mean, like I said, y'all, the left side of the spread is giving very much full for some reason very much full i did pull this smaller floral i was trying not to use bigger ones on the side and i wanted to use some of these smaller ones throughout but i don't know so i think what would be best is for me to just cut this one and i'll just kind of make it look like it's coming outside of the box that'll be fine i didn't really do that with any of the other ones but i can do it over here and it won't like mess up the flow of things so yeah and let me like switch this one up and like move it over some okay i feel like that looks better okay so now that i got that i'm thinking is there anything else i need or want and honestly i just feel like i just want to write in it so with my journal i do like to do some fun fonts and stuff so i'll probably add some of that and it'll just bring it to life so yeah that's pretty much it for this video you guys here are another look at those sticker books i did use this floral beach one and the functional boxes and i look forward to using the seasonal fun one i have all the details in my description box and where you can find this so definitely check that out so yeah i want to thank you all so much for watching please like comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and i want to thank you all for being so sweet and so kind so yeah until next time i love you bye